and it's time for another Secret Wars, ep- Secret Wars episode. And if I think about it, uh, I posted, I think, on Twitter or in stock tweets, the markets stand uh, refers to um, the markets and sectors and then choosing stocks within those sectors that are in harmony with the overall trend. Um, I had the NASDAQ still in the stage two. I had the New York Stock Exchange in a stage two, but starting to hit uh, the 30-week moving average and uh, possibly entering stage three. And I had the TSX that was in a stage three, which um, is a little turbulent sideways consolidation. So it's a, and it kind of looks like a, this chart for BNS, Bank of uh, Nova Scotia on the TSX and kind of going up and stage three and then uh, maybe stage three is going to become a stage two but slowing down again to a halt so I see this candidate uh, anything TSX I would not buy as a stage two but I would buy as a start of stage four and maybe that's the earlier ones that are going to start uh, rolling over into stage four uh, stocks on the TSX and that's what I'm going to look at now because we know stage two has been in a nice advance over a long time for the uh, NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange and these to try to find stage twos that are just exploding out of that stage one base they're harder and harder to find what do we have here Bank of Nova Scotia remember I have uh, my weekly chart 30 week SMA volume indicator uh, I add, added my zigzag lines to uh, trace my uh, 7% pullbacks or to give me an indication of uh, where the pullbacks, uh, the ones I should omit and the ones that are, are valid according to Stan. And I have my uh, RSI. I don't have the Mansfield RSI as Stan talks in his book. I have uh, just traditional RSI. and But it still gives us a direction of... Uh, And that's what we're going to use. All right. What do we have here? Should we go straight ahead to what we have today? And as, after that, move our way back. Give me some backspace. Right now, I have a top. I have some resistance here at 85. I have some support at 75. So this could be the range, the start of a range for our top formation. Uh, I don't know, head and shoulders pattern. What is it? Left, top, maybe here another, uh, the right shoulder and then a breakdown to stage four. I'm going to set my alerts right now. And either case, if we have a continuation pattern and this becomes stage two, then uh, I'll know. And uh, or if there's a breakdown, then I could play it. Look, the TSX. If all these stocks that are that have this pattern there that go uh, that are in a stage three and decide to go into stage two, well, if they're if those stocks are in sectors and those sectors are going to start re- resembling the stocks that are within it, and the sectors within the, uh, the TSX are going to start. Uh, making the index chart look like those underlining ones. And maybe the TSX is going to, just having a rough patch, and is going to decide to be in a, to go into stage two. So who knows, right? I can't uh, start uh, being uh, biased ahead of time. I have to just to let the, the chart and the form and see where it goes from there. Remember for the... Uh, breakdown stage four there's no volume indicator so you have really to rely on the RSI and you have to really isolate well what's the resistance to real breakdown line and that's where our classical charting pattern uh, and comes useful what else I have here I'm just wondering if there was a previous, if the breakdown. Stan also mentions that uh, the 
Um, A plus setups are the ones who don't have close nearby resistance or support. And the ones that have uh, further away. So right now, this I would consider close, close support for the on the breakdown. Probably why it resisted here and bounced back up. And but this is further away. So this one, I mean, it's going to not have that much noise and the stage two would probably go all the way back down to probably previous lows right here maybe 5750 that could be a the eventual target as long as the framework permits us to get there the moving of the sell stops etc on the way to target i'm just curious i'm going to go look at the i started looking at the um uh, monthly candle charts and just to see if I'm in harmony, because eventually that chart, let's see the bigger picture, what it gives us. The 30 week moving average on the monthly candle chart is still going up, but it's not as defined. 10 week moving average is giving us a more uh, SMA in line with that price action, that consolidated price action on the, those monthly candles. And here was in the stage two. And here we have some of the noise uh, a little ironed out from the uh, the weekly. Remember the weekly? We saw it go up and down. Here, the SMA, right now it seems to be flattening out and it's uh, bouncing on top of it. And traders would have been triggered out. Remember, traders rules. If uh, ever you cross the uh, 30 week move average, you're out. It looks like a stage three on the monthly candle chart. And uh, doesn't look too much like a stage two. Maybe it could continue stage two. It's still angling upwards. I think it needs a little bit more time, a little bit more candles to really uh, start making a downturn on the that 30 week uh, moving average. Let's go back to Stan. And that's pretty much it for uh, BNS on the Toronto Stock Exchange. I'll keep an eye on it. Possible candidate probably right now in stage three. Um, our size going up. So right now, let me remove that. Nothing to see here. It's actually, uh, we just have to wait, wait and see. All right, guys, that's a short one for tonight, but um, I'll try to ramp up uh, with uh, these uh, these candidates more and um, hopefully we get to pull the trigger soon on them. But it's all in the preparation, guys, always. Look at the charts, put your alerts, keep looking at the charts, and what you thought was an A+, plus, finally you see a better chart set up. So the final that becomes the A plus, and the ones where you thought were A pluses become a A's or B minuses or whatever. They just move down the ladder, and that's how you end up probably choosing the best of the uh, of the charts out there available. Just keep looking at them, looking at them, and uh, you'll get them, guys. All right, see you tomorrow. Ciao.